us to say the worst is now over. Construction is about to begin on a large artificial reef that will be placed off Sydney's coast just in time for summer. The government hopes it will be a real winner for tourism by attracting big schools of fish and of course fishermen. Just off Sydney heads, 38 metres under the waves. This sea monster will soon loom out of the dark. It's a towering man-made reef. It's pretty ugly to the human eye. It's a steel construction. It's about 12 metres tall, but it's very attractive to the fish. It's hoped they'll be lured in their thousands, followed by fishermen. A yellowtail and snapper will call this place home pretty well straight away, so it's going to be a great boon for tourism in New South Wales. And business too. A Western Sydney company will begin work on the $900,000 structure next month, paid for by revenue from recreational fishing licences. It's going to be great for us. I mean, it's great for our charter as well. It uh, um, gives us a you know, whole new area to explore out the front there and one that we're pretty sure will hold kingfish all summer. The reef will be two kilometres off South Head, so it's reachable if you're in a smaller boat. It's expected to be down before Christmas, just in time for a spot of summer fishing. Fishermen are already gearing up. I think it'll make a great difference. Um, for recreational fishermen, it'll be superb. There are plans for two more man-made reefs, one north of Sydney near Newcastle, another to the south near Wollongong. Sean Berry, 7 News. Still to come out.